Whew. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I hope some of you guys actually join me in this because it's a, a little crazy. It would really help me if you join me. And this is kind of embarrassing. I have a, a confession to make. I don't have my CCMP yet. Uh, the routing is switching. Now, wh why is that embarrassing? Well, because I've been working on it for three years. <laughs> no, three years. That, that's a long time. Now, I mean, let me give myself some credit. I am two thirds certified in CCMP. Well, what does that mean? Well, CCMP is three tests. I took the CCMP route, passed that. CCMP switch, passed that. But I haven't taken the T-shoot yet. I haven't attempted it yet either, so I have no idea what it's like. But I haven't finished it yet. Why? I mean, I've been busy. Uh, I've been doing different things. This channel, um, all kinds of stuff. Mainly collaboration voice stuff. But the CCMP, it's, it's always been there, just bugging me. Like, it's been over my shoulder saying, you, you better get your CCMP, and it's always been a goal of mine. And <laughs> it's even worse, it's even worse. This is worse. In, mo in a lot of my videos, and you probably know this, I keep saying, oh, I'm working on my CCMP. I'm gonna get it here soon. I'm gonna get it here soon. <sighs> it's... It's just embarrassing, but enough is enough. I am going to get my CCMP. I'm going to pass my T-shoot exam and I'm gonna be a little crazy about it. I'm gonna challenge myself and here we go. This is insane. Uh, why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. What's funny is I, I, I passed the switch uh, in, in, in 2015 and then I passed the route in 2016 and I meant to do the T-shoot in 2017. Now, I didn't mean to do that three year thing. <laughs> I should have gotten it in six months, uh, but you know busy busy stuff, right? Oh Gosh, it really is embarrassing that I've taken this long and now here we are It's at the end of 2018 and I still don't have my CCMP. Okay, here's the plan First you got to schedule your exam. That's the first thing you got to do when you set your eyes on a certification You got to set that date and um, I'm setting that date for January 15 that gives me about a month and a half to basically learn everything. Now you're like, Chuck, what do you mean learn everything? You already passed the route and switch. Yeah, I passed the route in 2016. That was two years ago, almost three. <laughs> I, I don't remember anything. <laughs> you, you either use it or lose it, and I haven't used a lot of it. To be honest, I haven't. So I'm gonna be relearning everything in a month and a half and getting ready for that super hard, from what I heard, T-shoot exam. Oh. Okay, so let's um let's go schedule my exam real quick. All right, let's get the Pearson view for test takers. That's me. That Francisco, there she is. And it's been a while since I've signed in, so let me get signed in. Proctored exam, and let's type it in. Troubleshoot. And there she is, 135 troubleshooting and maintaining Cisco IP networks. 300-135. Let's go. English. Why are those only two options? English and Japanese. $300, I better pass. <laughs> Let's schedule it. And here we go, January 15th. Oh, it's a Tuesday. I love Tuesdays. Huh, and what time should I take it? Mm. Let's see, you wake up, have coffee, work out. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for 11 a.m. That's a good solid time, right? 11 a.m. And now time to put my money where my mouth is. Time to pay. Where'd my wallet go? Okay, here we go. January 15th, 11 a.m. I'm submitting my order. <sighs> and my test is scheduled. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> hey Cameron, um, I just scheduled my uh, T-shoot exam. And um, I don't wanna change the date, because I might, because I have in the past. So can you, can you change my password on my account? I'll give it to you. That way I can't go in and change it. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, what are the tools for my mission? What am I using to accomplish this goal? I tell everyone when they're preparing for a cert exam, get a good book, get good video training, and get good labs. First for the books, I've got the official cert guides, route, switch, and t-shoot. And I gave my books to my brother a long time ago, so it's gonna be Safari Books Online on this phone here. I can take it with me wherever I go. It's killer. For the video training, <laughs> CBT Nuggets, of course. Be rocking it with Jeremy Chara, Keith Barker. That's my video training. And then for labs, this one is a little more interesting because I used to go physical labs. That was all I did. When I studied for my switch and my route, I had a stack of switches and it was noisy, a lot of power. Wife didn't like it at all. But now I'm trying something new. The folks at Boson, 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 
think that's, I think I'm saying it right. They make this product called uh, NetSim, which is like network simulator. So yeah, it's like GNS3, yeah, it's like Packet Tracer. Actually, I think it's more like Packet Tracer because it's not using real iOS images. So the folks at Boson, Boson, <laughs> sent me a copy of their latest uh, version, 12. And I was like, yeah, you know, why don't I just try this out? I used it in the past, like a, a long, long, long time ago. Uh, but I haven't used the recent version, so I'm like, you know what, let me give it another shake. And I've, I've already perused it a little bit, and there are a few things I just think are killer, I love about it. I'm, I'm really excited. Let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. It's launching! Now while it's loading, I want to tell you why I, I'm looking at Bozen versus like Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer is great, but it's really only good for up to the CCNA. When you go for CCMP, uh, not so great. Because you can't do a lot of the things you need. Oh, it's loaded! So, first thing I love about this is um, you've got preloaded labs you can work through. So for me, I'm worried about T-Shoot. So I scroll through here, past the ICMD1 and, and uh, all these CCNA type labs. I get down here at the bottom, I've got switch specific labs. Okay, awesome. Um, I've got route specific labs up here. And then down here, I've got T-Shoot. Now one of the things that's always been hard with uh, Packet Tracer and even GNS3 for a while is that you couldn't do switching. You couldn't practice your switching, which is a huge part of the switch exam and also T-Shoot. Check this out, man. You can, uh, I was working on a lab in Spanning Tree. You can load up Spanning Tree, just click the lab. It'll tell you everything about it. It'll tell you all the uh, configuration commands you'll use. And then you just click load lab. All right, so the lab is loaded. They give you a bunch of instructions. They have a lab topology. But check this out. I mean, I got switches, I got routers. And look at all these labs I can go through that are just kind of built in. And then also troubleshooting tickets, which I heard is a large part of the troubleshoot exam. <laughs> so I am so excited to go through all these as part of my training for January 15th. And okay, this won't be a comprehensive review of the Bozen NetSim. I'll do that later after I pass my T-shoot. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this works. But this has a similar uh, look and feel to GNS3 and, and Packet Tracer. You click the device, get to log right into it. You're doing Cisco commands, it's it's awesome. And the other thing I wanna show you is if I wanna build my own lab, you can you can do that. It's not all built in labs. If I went to, you know, uh, new and look at all these routers I have. Oh my gosh, and switches. I, this is so cool, and what's really cool is you can put a switch stack out there. You can do switch stacking, which I don't think any emulation software can do that, or simulation software. So that's awesome. Now a big reason I love this is that first, I don't have to worry about going out there and finding all these iOS images, either through buying viral or you know using Google Foo to find some. They're all like just right here. And when I want to add a router, I just, just like GNS3 or Packet Tracer, just drag that sucker onto my topology. Boom. And I don't have to go through the process of creating a server and, and loading those images. And then also the, the resources that real iOS images take up, you know, CPU and RAM. I don't have to worry about that. Like I'm running this software right now on a VM in my data center and it's it runs fantastic. In fact, I don't even see my CPU spiking at all. And I've run a huge topology. It's, it's pretty cool. Again, not a comprehensive review. I'm still exploring it. I'm gonna use it as my preparation. And if I pass, hey, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> the other cool thing I want to just highlight uh, about their new version is they do have a community. If I go to the community tab, and with this, you can create your own topologies and upload them to the community, and other guys can benefit from these. Which, okay, that's pretty cool. So if I go through here, these are all labs that they verify, by the way. And uh, so if you run out of labs they already have, you can go in here and do labs that other people have created. Or you can get creative and make your own. I know uh, the community we're a part of, we're, we love building labs, especially in Packet Tracer and such. This is like super easy and super cool. Anyways, so I'm using this as my main lab tool in preparing for my CCMP troubleshoot exam. If you want to check this out, you're getting your CCNA or CCMP, uh, got a link below. I believe they're actually doing a pretty killer special. Um, whoa, okay, they're actually doing a 25% discount on all their stuff for December. Okay, now's the time, right? So check it out. Okay, the other part of my plan is that I want you to join me. And if not, just follow the adventure here. So you may not be getting your T-shoot exam, just like me. If you are, that's really cool, let's do it together. If you're not, uh, you may be studying for your CSENT, CCNA, or whatever. Hey, you know, I set the date for January 15th. Do it, go in there, schedule the exam, January 15th, and we'll all do this together. <laughs> so uh, if you can do that, do that, and let me know below. That would be super slick for us to all be just doing it together. That sounds fun. Uh, also horribly scary, but hey, trial by fire. <laughs> but also, I want you to follow me on this adventure. So I realized I haven't posted a lot of videos about like what my study process. 
I, I mean, I've given tips on how to study and all the tools I use, uh, but I haven't taken you down a path of where I've been actively studying. So I'm going to do that. So if you don't already follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, uh, I'm going to be posting all my stuff there uh, every day, waking up, posting stories about oh, uh, the early mornings and, and the late nights and the frustrations and hopefully <laughs> the successes, we'll see. But I'll show you everything I use from the, the notebook. I do take handwritten notes. I really believe in handwritten notes. Let me label my new notebook. All right, there we go. T-shoot, January 15th, 2019. Who's joining me? <laughs> so I'll take handwritten notes, I'll convert these into flashcards, I'll use my Pomodoro sessions, I mean all the things I've mentioned in a bunch of my, my other videos, I'm gonna implement all these techniques to hopefully land my CCMP by January 15th. I'm stoked, scared, um, so it really helped me if you guys could join me, please. <laughs> And if not, just come along for the ride. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'll be posting about my this, this crazy task challenge. And, uh, and you can learn from, uh, hopefully, my success. And if anything, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. Oh, why, why am I doing this again? It's the holidays. What? Oh, my gosh. OK, anyways, I'm doing it. I already scheduled the exam. So I scheduled the exam. I've got my tools. I hope you're joining me. That's the plan. Oh. Gosh, I'm stupid doing this. <laughs> if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, seriously, hit that bell to be notified of when my videos are posted because uh, the 10 days of Christmas are coming. And if you don't remember that from last year, um, and I've got a lot of stuff to give away this year. I've got a lot of vendors I'm using this year. So if you're looking for some training, keep an eye out. And that's about it, guys. Y'all pray for me. This is going to be insane. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.